Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Ruz Beshad. In this short video, I'll fix an issue in the business service layer that we implemented in a previous tutorial. This fix is about the second version of exist method, so let's have a look at it. As you see, this overloaded method is specific to check the existence of entities which have a key other than ID. In our model, we have two entities with this condition. One is customer with a key of type string, that is customer code, and the other is order detail with a composite key, that is the combination of order ID and product ID. If you have created a controller for either of these entities in the REST API project and tested it by yourself, you might have experienced an issue when updating the entity. Why is that? Let's check the update method in the order details controller. As you see, at this step, it checks for the existence of entity. This exists method matches the second version in the service layer, that is, the one I already talked about. Let's go back to it and see the code again. Well, the logic seems very simple. It retrieves the entity by its key and compares it with null. But there's a subtle point in this case, which is hidden from the eyes of many developers. When the find method retrieves an entity with the given keys, it attaches it to the context class. Later, in the update method of the controller, the save async method of the service gets called and it tries to attach another instance of entity with the same keys to the context class, results in throwing an exception. This is the reason it's not working for such entities. While there are a number of solutions to fix the issue, the easiest one may be detaching the entity from the context in the exists method, like the following. That's it. I hope you found it useful and instructive. If you have any suggestion to improve the content of this channel, I'd be happy to have them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video soon.